Hi, welcome to the uh, stream everyone. Just a couple more minutes while I finish pouring myself some coffee and we will get on our way. I do um, lots of things, mostly video games, but lately I've been working on a um, kind of different project, the more of an electronics project, and it's creating an electronic die. It's a die that is connected to oops, a um, your phone via Bluetooth, uh, so it can actually send its uh, face results. Uh, here's one such die over here. I have some more. Uh, let's see. You have some actually functioning ones in here. Um, like this guy here. So you can see the, the LED. It's, it's not, you know, the camera doesn't really like it. And it's a little overexposed. But this is um, the Bluetooth die. And... I'm currently working on uh, the next version, which will be uh, infinitely cooler. We'll have uh, full RGB LEDs, but that is not the uh, subject of today's stream. Oh, there's still music. Whoops. Yeah, let me turn that off. Oh yeah, sorry about that. Do, 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 do. All right. Uh, Turn this off. There we go. And ba -ba -ba -ba. Ugh, lights everywhere. Anyway, so like I was saying, um, making the next version of this die uh, is an ongoing thing. I have a, a prototype board here that I've been showing on stream uh, the past few days. But actually today we're not going to be working on that uh, because I am receiving a new board like today or tomorrow. And I'll be assembling that and then working with that one instead of this one. This one's been giving me a lot of grief lately. <laughs> like issues with like the footprints for the LEDs and stuff. Instead what we're going to do today is um, write an app that will record the uh, accelerometer accelerometer readings from uh, the die along with video from the camera from a phone and um, save all that data to file in a way that I can then uh, look at and correlate all of it. So let me show you what I mean because I've done some of the work already um, last night. Ow! <laughs> I just ran into the, into the uh, desk here. Um, let me switch over to this scene. Yeah, that'll work. Get rid of this. Open. Uh, this scene. All right, so you can see I have um, this one die over here, right? And actually, if I run the app on the computer. All right, so I'm using Unity, um, it's a game engine uh, that has the nice advantage of being multi-platform. And, wait, there's something it doesn't like. What happened? Oh, I need to repair the 
die. Forgot about that. Um, but anyway, I'm using Unity, and uh, so I can work both on uh, PC and on iOS, right? So ultimately, uh, the app that I'm building is going to be for iOS, but um, it's much, much faster for me to work with um, directly on PC. So what I'm doing doing here is I'm repairing the 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 die with uh, Windows because Windows is special. It likes to um, I don't know. It likes to work differently than like iOS or Android or even Mac. Um, it wants to put a layer in between you and the, the Bluetooth device. So anyway, so now that it's paired, I can rerun this app, and we will see it actually receive telemetry data from the die, right? So if I keep it still, you should see the, the readings there. It's having a little bit of a hard time. There we go, communicating. Um, but you see the ratings are pretty stable. If I turn it, right, you see all the readings. So it's X, Y, and Z axis of the accelerometer reading being sent over Bluetooth to the PC. Uh, the yellow line is just the uh, the magnitude of the vector formed by, you know, the XYZ components. Um, right, and so I, I collect all this and I display it on screen and it's great and you can see when I shake it, it's a lot bigger and everything. Uh, but what's already cool is that if I hit this button, <laughs> it writes about, uh, uh, four files and you'll notice they're WAV files. And if I go find the folder, um, electronic die, where was it? I can't remember where I put this. Central? No. Um, where did I put it? Uh, here, I'll stop this while we do this. Um, I think it goes in like C users. Well, actually, it tells me, right? C user froggy app data. I don't know why it decides to put it there, but whatever. Uh, games, dice, there we go. X, Y, Z, right? And I will open those in, uh, whoops, Audacity for now. Here. Put this thing over here. All right, drag the file in here. X, Y, and Z, right? And you can see that these are the actual graphs um, of the dice. So this is like the last period of time where I was shaking it really hard. Um, but before that are the, the previous readings. Let me um, zoom out. Yeah, zoom. There we go. Um, right, and so it's like I said, like if we don't move, it's fairly stable. And then as I was just sort of like moving it in my hands, you can see it going up and down here. Um, the, uh, of course, the, the waveform is scaled to the maximum reading of the accelerometers, which is about eight Gs per axis, which as it turns out, isn't all that much actually. It's the, um, the greatest uh, sensitivity no, or sensitivity. Uh, no, but it's the greatest range that the accelerometer in here can uh, actually um, read. But for uh, impacts, you know, like the, the the die is going through when you like, you know, when it hits a hard surface here, it's hitting a soft mat. But when it hits a hard surface, it goes above eight Gs. So um, it's actually not quite. Uh, uh, doesn't really quite capture the whole whole the dynamic range, but anyway. So what I want to do right is essentially pair that with a video of me rolling the die right in a tool. So instead of Audacity like in Premiere or some simpler um, uh, scrubbing tool, and that way I can you know scrub through the thing. And figure out that oh here is when I can see in the video that it hit you know the table and I can see what the readings are like right because otherwise I'm just sort of looking at data and trying to guess um, at what I'm I'm looking at um, 
So yeah, so I got the first part. I'll show you quickly what uh, that looks like in code. Uh, I end up using I ended up using um, a bit of code on GitHub uh, that does the uh, the wave file uh, saving, and, and it's super interesting because it's actually very very straightforward. Uh, there's a, a big function in here uh, called right convert and write. And you give it an audio clip, which is Unity's internal um, audio format, and the stream, the, the the file that you want to write to. And all it does is like convert floats to uh, in sixteen, write it in a certain way, uh, and then essentially just write a header, and um, you know, and the data in the file, and that's it. And for instance, here is the function that writes the header. It's super. Excuse me straightforward it's like here you know there's a string the four characters turn that into bytes write it to the file um, here's the length of the data and writes that in the file you know here's uh, format information or whatever I don't know the, the specifics of the header you know for wave files I don't really know but it's fairly straightforward it's like here I have one channel or two channels um, or more channels you know, here's the sample rate, and it just, you know, it just writes all that. And so all I had to do uh, is, you know, prepare my data and then call this function. I'll show you where I do that. Uh, where do I do that? Telemetry. There we go. Here I have a file, uh, save to file function on my telemetry uh, mono behavior. What happens if you play it? Yeah, you want to hear it? It's uh, you hear ticks and stuff. It's not because it's actually really, really low frequency compared to um, actual waveform. Uh, so here, let's see. I don't know if you can hear anything. Maybe when I shake it really hard. Yeah, right. You hear maybe a little something here. <laughs> it's like uh, you know what it's what this is like. Um, it's it's like that LIGO experiment. <laughs> it's like where they they claim to hear the black holes merging and whatnot, right? It just happened they had a signal that was at audible frequencies. It wasn't you know actual sound. It's kind of the same thing here. Like when I shake it really fast. I almost get into the you know the hearable or hearing range, but it's still like like I don't know maybe less than ten hertz. I think uh, maybe maybe it's maybe it's about sixty hertz at tops. Yeah, it's as as loud as I can, and uh, if I oh I could sp speed it up. Back here. Yeah, it's still really quiet. <laughs> um, here, let's see, just for fun. Uh, how do I shrink it? Ah, effect. Uh, change tempo, I believe. Select the audio to change tempo. Oh, okay, here. All change tempo length. So instead of 30 seconds, let's do five seconds. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Meh. Yeah, I mean, there's something to hear, but <laughs> it's still really low frequency. So, anyway, so that's the yeah, that's the that's what happens. Yeah, it's interesting. But anyway, I mean, the point right isn't to like actually hear it; it's to it's to look, it's to see it, um, and maybe even like re-export it once I have tagged it. Maybe right. So if I record footage of me, you know, throwing the dice and throwing the dice a bunch of times. Then I can maybe tag it or split or uh, you know cut it up or whatever and sort of have 
you know, like a bunch of data, right? Like, oh, okay, this is a bunch of, you know, the, the, I don't know, normalized throws, right? Like I take a bunch of throws and I sort of make them the same length and I see if the data, you know, looks similar in any ways, et cetera, right? That kind of stuff. Um, I haven't quite figured out how to process the data, like specifically what sort of experiments I want to run on it to um, try and, and extract out some, some information. Uh, but I know I want data that is essentially uh, identifiable. And so, uh, so that's why I want to do this. Uh, I'm curious, actually, if you can tag audio files in any like sort of meaningful way, and then re-import that somewhere. Huh? I'll look at that later. Um, yeah, I'm curious about that. Anyway. Um, The uh, the task du jour, <laughs> if you want, um, is to uh, get camera recording working on the device, right? So that's it uh, on the iPhone, so that I can go, you know, to my friend's place while we're playing board games, use you know my dice instead of regular dice, and just sort of record us playing for a while. Um, and then seeing, you know, then taking all that data, stacking it, and uh, cutting it up, tagging it, etc. Um, oh yes, I was uh, going to sort of walk through um, how I converted the file to, you know, the data to WAV file. But essentially, I have an array of um, samples here. This guy here, and let's go look at um, what it is. It's a list of sample, and a sample is simply a pair. It has a you know time uh, in milliseconds that comes from the from the die, right? It sends when it sends its data, it sends it you know tagged, um, and then the floating point value for that channel, you know x, y, and z. And so all I need to do is take this you know pairs of uh, you know. 2D points, right? The time and value, and then um, fill. Oops, where is it? Um, and then fill a big array uh, for the wave file, right? So this is all I do. Is it you know? And then taking the sample rate into account, um, you know. So fill in the blanks, basically. And this is really what all this, you know, this for loop does, and the math, you know where you see like sample rate and then divide by a thousand you know that's you can you can sort of you know figure out um what i'm doing here it's basically taking my data that's in milliseconds uh turning that into sample index um and then you know filling in the the data in the buffer you know for each sample that i have and etc you know it's kind of boring stuff uh in the end <laughs> Um, and then, you know, create an audio clip, right, which is nice. So I just create an audio clip um, and then fill it with the data that I just, um, that I just uh, calculated. Uh, I just fired up Audacity. I think you have to use the change speed effect instead of the tempo effect. Oh, because that also changes the pitch. You might be absolutely right here just because I want to hear it too. Oop, no, effect, change speed. Yeah. Let's do 10 times. <laughs> we can hear something. Try uh, repeat. <laughs> there we go. Um, all right. So anyway, um, save wave telemetry. Okay. So uh, brr, 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 brr. and I was uh, looking into what it is. 
uh, that I can use to record from the camera. And there's a bunch of stuff everywhere. Um, and a bunch of people like having issues with, I gotta close a bunch of stuff here. Um, getting the camera, right? Like and a bunch of people trying to sell their assets. <laughs> So eventually, I ran into this right here. Um, <laughs> it's called this networks. Ha ha ha. Um, but it has this plugin for free, right? You have all the sources here. That says it enables you to capture the iOS application. So it doesn't actually grab the camera. It grabs the entire screen and saves it as a video. However. I have um, I have seen in the Unity Docs that there is a thing called webcam, or is it webcam webcam texture? There we go. Webcam texture, um, a texture onto which live video is rendered. And the question, the, so the next, so the idea would be I just uh, use that to render what is being filmed and then use the tool to record. Um, the question is, does this work with uh, iOS? I don't know. We're going to try. All right. So. Mm -hmm. Mm. Um, okay, so let's try that. Let's make, uh, let's go back to Unity. Oh, too many windows in here. And here. And uh, create a texture. Right, that will assign the webcam texture thing. How does this work? I don't know. I want a webcam texture. Can I add? All right, so let's try this vertical. Um, I'm thinking I'll just put a, a thing here. Raw image. There we go. Make it stretch. Zero, zero. Oh no. Hold on. <laughs> Move that out of the way. Um, right, and then set, let's see, does this, uh, is this a component? No. So I have to assign it, I guess, right? So I'll create a new script, call capture uh, video, video, capture video, create. I will move my script because for some reason always puts it in the root and I don't want that and then we'll switch back to the good mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. capture video there we go ah. um, and in the start we'll grab get component raw oh, what is it unity engine UI Raw texture, what? What is it called? Raw image. Raw image. Why is there a hmm? uh, texture equals webcam texture dot? Can I create? 
How does this work? Instantiate. Oh god, that's not what I want. Uh, find object. Devices? What's a device? Returns a list of available devices. So I might have to do this. Uh, devices. I don't know. First. Does this work? Okay, uh, cam. grab the first webcam. Now this might be an issue since I'm streaming as well. I might have to uh, do something clever here. Um, and then what can I do with this? Here's front facing. <laughs> it must work for iOS or for phone devices if it has a property called is front facing. <laughs> That's funny. Um, Webcam device. How do I? Yeah. All right. Oh, hold on. I want to find a, an example. Webcam texture example. Oh, webcam texture play. Oh, okay. You just create a new webcam texture. Funny. Ah, uh, I see. So I can do webcam texture text equals new. Webcam texture. Oh, this is so weird for me to do new. Oh, I see you pass in a device name with height, FPS. Nice. Okay, I see. So cam dot name. Um, I'll probably, you know what, actually what I'll do is for each of our dev in devices. I'll log the ones and then I'll try to um, figure out which one I want to not use for video. Uh, debug log dev.name. Um, and then what was that? Webcam texture devices. Whoops dot devices first. Yay. Um, blah, blah, blah. And then set that as the texture to my UI component. Uh, so I expect that it won't work at first because all my webcams are used, but I want to see what it prints out. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Logitech HD Pro webcam, <laughs> one, two, three, and then USB 2.0 camera. You know what, let's do that one. Um, where is it? Is this it? Uh, properties? No. Mm -hmm. All right, hold on one sec. So I wanna turn off this guy. Setting the properties to deactivate when it's not showing. There we go. Get back to this. No, this one. Come back over here. And it's zero, one, two, three. Let's just go that way. Devices three. And then text.play, is that right? That, yes, yeah, so I'm pretty sure I forgot that. All right. Uh, I hit a five. I don't know why it freezes up when I hit a five. It like tries to run and then it's just completely frozen forever. So we'll just kill it. It's not happy. Okay. Is Unity okay? Oh no, Unity is not working now. All right. 
Let's restart though. Okay, so um, did I did it save my code change? I think it did, right? Capture video. Okay, yep. And run. Not seeing anything. Oh, well, that's because I did lose some stuff. Yeah. All right. UI, raw image, stretch. Okay, video, capture video. Here, let's save the scene while we're at it. Hey, it's working. <laughs> so this is the, uh, the microscope being rendered. All right, so let's, like, I don't know, put it on here. There we go. Of course, it's stretched because, you know, the, the, the resolution doesn't match what, um, uh, what I'm displaying. But, um, yeah, that was surprisingly easy. Okay. Um, I think the next thing is we're going to see if that works um, with the... Um, iOS app. Oop. Uh, and in fact, actually, let me repair this puppy because, of course, it disconnected. Oop. Bluetooth. Kablam. And it is recording. Yay. Awesome. All right. Good deal. Good deal. Um, all right. So now I have to go switch to uh, iOS, which means I'm going to have to commit this. <laughs> Stage all. Loop. Um, to the app. Oh, yeah, I'm just writing my notes. Um, push, 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 push. All right, so now for um, deploying to an iPhone you need a Mac and I don't have a Mac uh, but I have a um, there, let's, uh, switch to desk cam there we go let's see if I can move this guy so I don't have a Mac but I have <laughs> a computer with a Mac virtual machine uh, that I can talk to. So now if I, uh, let me see, there we go. Woke it up and here. So this is the best I can give you uh, <laughs> because I don't have video capture because uh, it's on, it's actually on a separate machine that I uh, remote control. Um, So you'll have to uh, excuse the poor resolution and all that. Um, but in any case, all right, so here I will 
get rid of this garbage. Uh, no, actually, I don't. I didn't want this. Reset. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm grabbing the code changes I made on PC onto this Mac, fake Mac. Um, and then I can switch back to Unity over here. And bleh, hello, computer. Delete this, make this my default. Build, oh wait, that's all. Um, most likely I'm not gonna have four cameras on this phone, only two, so let me go why do I have two mono develops here? I don't know. Uh, but in any case, uh, why are you? Excellent. Oh, this is all gone. There we go. Scripts. Uh, capture video. Video, I will grab device number zero. I have no idea which one I need. Save. I guess I could just ask which one is not the front facing one. But whatever, I, this is a test. I don't really care. Uh, save, append. We're going to do our um, iOS build. Yeah, so this setup, uh, I mean, it's fairly convenient. Um, I, I just don't like developing on Mac, uh, mostly because I'm not used to it, to be honest. Um, but it is responsive enough. So I have a, a virtual, like, a, how does it call this? It's called Unraid. Yeah, it's called Unraid. It's, a, um, it's actually a NAS solution, right, for network storage. And I have a bunch of drives in it, et cetera. And that's all great. Uh, but it all, also has great virtualization. And so um, all I did, what I did is I created a iOS virtual machine and then gave it access to an actual video card, like a physical card, so that, you know, the, the update on screen is, is fast. Um, and that way I can, right, develop for iOS. Um, the, uh, because I didn't want to, you know, have another set of keyboard and mouse I use um, this tool here called uh, what is it called uh, crap I forgot what it's called synergy right yeah uh, so I can just sort of like drag my mouse over from my PC to uh, the Mac and then I can use uh, everything on the Mac uh, all right so it built so let's switch to Xcode now Hello, Xcode. Why well, you're not coming up? What's going on? Uh oh, something froze. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Maybe Xcode. Hello. Where? Well, curses. What's going on? Um, how does Finder work? <laughs> I don't even know how to kill applications on. Uh, oh, wait, no, that's my Windows. Uh, how does this stupid thing work? So I do have a. Um, oh, there we go. Unity. All right, let's go. Finder. Oops. Force quit. Is there anything that's not responding? Can I go to Xcode now? Oh, I can go to Xcode now. Not sure what was going on. Uh, all right, so I'm just going to pick my phone as a destination and then hit build or debug rather. PS for processes and then kill nine. The 
process ID. Oh man, kill nine, kill dash nine. <laughs> I remember that one for some reason. All right, so while this is going on, um, yeah, so it takes a minute. You can see the, the bar up here. It's compiling. Compiling. So this is one of the reasons why I don't like developing, you know, directly on iOS. I mean, I should say, I shouldn't say that. Developing Unity for iOS, because <laughs> it takes forever. Uh, and apparently I still have an error of some kind because there are some plugins that I'm missing. What the hell? Console. Uh, no, that's nothing. Don't care about that. Oh, there's some crap here that I don't want. Bluetooth device script, I'm recording bridge. Don't care about this. Oh, I, how do I, I can't delete? Um, I thought I deleted all this stuff. This I need. Yeah. Uh, uh -uh. Did I miss something? Their document. Oh, editor. Parse process build part. No. Uh, what am I missing? Let's try again. Uh, file, build, blah, blah, blah. And build. iOS build, let's do a replace, I guess. Maybe I left some uh, dependencies. Yeah, I had I had tried to download a, an asset that claimed to allow you to record the uh, webcam on iOS, and it just wasn't compiling. It just looked like maybe it was abandoned um, several iOS versions ago. So that was fun. Long live the command line. Yes, no, you are seeing the screen through a camera. That's the only way I can show you this screen, unfortunately, because it's on a separate computer. Um, I can't capture the video to it. Uh, it, is, it is like actually rendering, you know, like the, the screen is, as much as that statement can be true, the screen is directly connected to the VM, <laughs> which is a weird uh, statement to make, but that's, that's essentially it. Close. There we go. Um, all right, so the, 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 the video card is uh, passed through to the VM and it's connected to the screen. And that's the only way I can sort of make the interface bearable. Uh, but it also means I can't capture it, you know, or if I had, you know, some like fancy like HDMI capture or, you know, any, any sort of those. Okay, let's try again. Build, build failed. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was quick. Oh, okay, so it's not signed. Got it. Build, 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 build. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's recompiling. Uh, while we do this, I guess I'll switch back over here for a sec. Mess with this some more. Um, because if this works, and you know, assuming that this works, I probably don't want the telemetry drawing on, on top of everything everywhere. I just want to keep it small, I'm going to guess. So this area, I will make tiny. How about that? I can do that. 
Oh, no, I can't because <laughs> it looks like they stretch. What did I do? How do I do this? How do I do what I do? Um, I'm trying to figure out who talks to what. Oh, there we go. This telemetry. Telemetry. Oh, I don't need this guy anymore. Um, this telemetry script. Oh, I need to unlock my phone. Bloop. And now it's running on the phone. So here, let me uh, point this thing down. Hopefully you can see. Ah, Where's the phone? Where's the phone? There it is. I'm waiting to see what it's going to say. Oh, <laughs> well, that's interesting. Here, at least they're uh, helpful in their debug message. I'll show you. <laughs> so that's actually pretty nice. Um, let me switch back over to, what is it, two? So maybe I can show you this text. Well, no, you can't see it, but I'm going to read it to you <laughs> because it says, um, so, oh, they're called back camera and front camera. Number zero is back camera. Um, blah, 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 access this app has crashed because it attempted to access privacy sens privacy sensitive data without a usage description. The app's info.plist must contain an NS camera usage description key with a string value explaining to the user how the app uses this data. Okay. So that's great. Now I just need to know what that means in terms of unity. <laughs> okay. Like, how does this translate into what unity, um, how unity deals with that? Which I have a feeling I'm going to be able to, uh, to figure out. Let's look for it. Um, unity webcam and uh, what was the error message? Uh, NS camera usage description. There's Bill, blah, blah, blah. All right. Blah, 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 you want to modify info P list for a post experts export step. Wah. Update value. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? I have a few, I, I think I saw something with the, the Bluetooth um, library that I was used that I'm using for the Bluetooth thing. Um, that does the same thing. Where was it? Editor? Yeah. Post process build. Let's look at this. Oh, <gasps> look at this. P list, P list, P list. Yeah, that's awesome. Here. Oops, sorry, right here. So it's all commented out here because um, uh, Unity iOS isn't defined, but essentially it's doing the same thing for the Bluetooth. All right, saying uses BLE to communicate with devices. So all I need to do is um, the same thing for iOS. I'll do it directly on the Mac, and then I'll just check in my changes. So bear with me for one sec while I go open this file here. I double clicked, I think. Mm, I don't know. Oh, there it is. Oh, it did open. Whatever. Uh, so if I'm looking at the example, I essentially need the exact same thing as this, but with um, NS camera usage descript uh, description 
and then uh, uses <laughs> uses the camera to gather oh to spy on your neighbors. There we go. I'm sure that's what they wanted. Um, let's build file. Hello. Build and build. I was. Well, that was, um, well, hopefully, if it works, less painful than I thought. Um, you know, thanks again, thanks again to the forums. I think that's, that's one of the reasons why Unity, despite all its, you know, um, issues, is very popular because it's sort of at that, um, you know, critical mass where it's so popular that there's lots of information online about it, uh, you know, which makes it even more popular, <laughs> right? Like uh, that, that's one thing I've heard a lot about people trying to use Unreal, which arguably, um, you know, a more performant engine and et cetera, et cetera, um, has, you know, made many more, you know, AAA games. Um, documentation is really sparse overall. Like it's, you know, because most people that use that engine don't share their work, don't share, you know, their process, uh, because most are AAA studios. And so um, as a result, there's not nearly as much, um, you know, public knowledge or public expertise or however you want to call it. All right. Oh, that was fast. I hope it works. <laughs> yes, I will unlock my phone. I'm just I'm holding the phone. Oh, here. Does that not right? Two. Oh. Oh yes, Dice would like to access. <laughs> this is great here. <laughs> uh, see if I can show you this. This is great. It says, "Come on, focus, focus." <sighs> why are? You, why do you hate me? Oh, well. Well, anyway, <laughs> it says, Dice would like to access the camera. Uses the camera to spy on your neighbors. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's working. Look at that. It's completely wrong. Whoops, sorry. It's completely wrong. Like, it's rotated 90 degrees and, uh, you know, all that stuff. But I don't care. Um. <laughs> oh, I guess technically, oh, now it's 180 degrees. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, that's funny. Why? I don't know. But it, it's kind of working. So that's awesome. <laughs> now I just need to be able to record. Also the... Uh, you, I don't know if you can see that, but the res... Yeah, you probably can't. The resolution is super shitty. Um, don't know why, actually. I'd have to, uh, I have to figure that out, but awesome. All right, progress, 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 progress. Uh, okay, so let's kill this. And um, you know what, let's commit this change. Boop. Let's get some messages also for some reason. Boop. Um, make sure to use the back camera and record, uh, not record, and uh, tell the user why. Okay, push, push it.
All right, cool. Let's get back. All right, so okay, so we're back over here. And now I want to uh, check out that asset that that claims to um, record everything. Where was it? There we go. So it's this thing, right? Uh, this network, blah blah blah. Ivid Cap Pro. Um, man, I really wish I had a cross-platform version of this. Um, and this is nice that it's free. All right, let's let's try. Let's look for um, Unity screen recorder when iOS. Blah, blah, blah. You record. What is you record? 30 bucks. Jesus. Recording plugin allows users a simple one click recording process, rendering straight from the editor to a video file. Uh, I don't know if that's what I want. Um, it also doesn't say. No, I don't care about this. Um, replay kit? What is replay kit? On certain phones, iPads, and iPod Touch. Oh, no. Well, I don't have that. Um, oh, no, actually, iPhone 5S or later. Oh, but that's iOS specific, of course. Okay, forget that. Native plugin to use replay kit. I don't understand. Um, Unity screen recorder uh, Windows. Let's try that. Screen screen recorder Unity asset no longer available okay uh -huh. <laughs> I love this question what is the easiest way to record video well AV Pro Movie Capture, 75 bucks. Ugh. Jesus. Works in editor and also standalone build. Um, does it work on, oh, standalone Windows PC only. Okay, well that's that. Micro record we've already seen. Um, I guess I'll just I'll have to go with that on that version that thing over here vidcap pro um, okay well let's just go do that on the Mac then I suppose the blah, 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 blah. so this is won't be super fun to watch Unfortunately, see if maybe I can make that slightly better. Uh -huh. Uh, 
which webcam is this? This is this one? No. Is it this one? No. Is it this one? Yes. Uh. Pretty bad quality, isn't it? Oh, Dwight John, if you want simple screen capture of VLC, you can do that for free. Oh, no, thanks. I uh, thank you for the tip. Um, the problem here is that the Mac is so I, I normally, right, I normally use this uh, computer here. Uh, actually, this is my full screen, <laughs> um, which is a Windows PC. Uh, I have uh, OBS running on it to do my capture and all that's great. Um, but the Mac is on a separate computer, uh, basically, and I, I don't know how I could get the video from that to OBS on the PC. Um, and then if you were talking about some, like, capturing the, um, uh, the, the app running, then it's a slightly different issue because I want to control it from the Unity code. Um, and so that also is, you know, works differently on the phone versus on the, uh, on the desktop. VLC Mac is... Yeah, no, I mean, I, I, I love VLC, actually. I use it, but my, my problem isn't, is like, how do I get it from the Mac to the PC in, in real time? so that you guys can stream it. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe there's a way you can do that. Um, but that's the, that's the problem that I'm having. <laughs> right, right, right. But then you wouldn't be able to see it. You see me do it live. Um, uh, yeah, so anyway. All right, so let me go here, open. Uh, I don't even have... Uh, I don't even have Chrome on here. It's crazy. Nope, no Chrome. That's okay. All we're looking for is... Uh, I'm looking for... Um, what was that thing I called it? What was it called? Something Pro something? Uh, no. That looks different. That's not what I was looking for. Oh, that's not the same window. That's why. Not this one, not this one, this one. iVidCap Pro. All right. iVidCap Pro. Here, so I'm now over here on the Mac. Boop. All right, clone. No, I just want to open in desktop. Does that work? Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Download zip. Boop. Okay. And then... Uh, just looking at all this stuff. Okay, cool. That's a lot of stuff. What I want is in my downloads. I have it Cap Pro Master. I want to copy all this. This uh, Unity project. Uh, I don't want the project settings, I don't think. There we go. Grab all this. And copy this to what is streaming assets? Oh interesting. Seagulls. <laughs> That's fine. I don't care. Copy um I wanna copy this to uh no, not here.
here, central assets. There we go. This is where I want to copy all this. Okay. Uh, let's see. The source tree detect everything. Wait, what? It got rid of these files? No, that's not what I want. Oh, my God. <sighs> See, this goes to show how much I don't know how to use a Mac. So it did say replace. And I believed, I didn't believe it. I thought it meant merge, but that's really not what it meant. So, um, yeah, I need to uh, remove all this yet. Nope, I don't want, I don't Reset. Yes, reset all of this. All right, so let's try that again. Um, I want. Oh, and of course they're gone from here because I moved them. Oh, I'm an idiot. All right. Did um, and I bet now if I open this. <laughs> They're gone from the zip file. It updated the zip file. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's try that again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's... Uh, uh, Dwight uh, is saying, yeah, capture card installed on Windows, right. Um, yeah, that, I think that's that's the only way I would be able to do this. Um, and I, But I, th I think if I get to that point, because those capture cards are not cheap. Um, if I get to that point, I'd probably like to get like a, you know, like four input kind of capture card. And just do all the streaming, you know, on a separate computer. Um, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> whoops. So if I want to, all right, let's do a right click. Oh no, that doesn't that doesn't work. Right click, copy, paste. Can I paste? Uh, paste three items. Merge. There we go. That's what I wanted. I don't know why it didn't offer me merge. Okay. So let's go to source tree now. Let's see what it detected. Yes, we have new files. Some zips and things and all kinds of stuff. All right, cool. Let's switch back to Unity. Let it compile. And then um, we'll see what happens. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, we want to roll this die. Okay. All right. So we have something in here. Um, no compiler, so that's good. And um, let's see if we have an example scene to um, to look at. Uh, Ivid Cap Pro examples. Simple test. Wait, where was the Ivid Cap Pro post build? Yeah, that's fine. Why am I am I missing something here? Hold on. Um, in the zip file? Where's my zip file? Ugh. All right, assets, plugin, streaming assets. Oh, I guess there's no, no demo. Well, that's not super useful. Yeah, that's great. Let's go back to the, to the, web page um, installation 
apparently I need to add something. Features. Uh, oh, there's a releases page. Oh, there's a Unity package. Oh, sadness. This would have been way easier. Let's do that, actually. Let's download that. All right, so let's undo this one more time. Um, this we can keep. This one we don't want. This one we will keep. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, let's go back to source tree and revert all of this. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, all right. Five. Okay, cool. Let's tab back to Safari. Unity package. Come on. There we go. Avid Cap Pro Unity package. Wonder if Unity will just open it. Oh yes, wonderful. This is much much better. Let's see what it's importing is. Uh, oh, Bluetooth. No, that's fine. Uh, Avid Cap Pro Plus build. All right, cool. It also, yeah, <laughs> it too needs an, one of those post build thing. Streaming, Ivid Cap Pro, Docs, and a bunch of other stuff, which is fine. Uh, definitely still no demo. No, I don't see any demo, uh, but that's fine. Let's just try to get it recording something, All right? Source code, zip. No, don't want that. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, blah, blah, blah. The Ivid Cap Pro project folder. No, that's a lie. Yeah, it has everything you need, but how do I use it? <laughs> That's really all I want to know. Uh, uh, uh. Oh wait, I think there's a there's a page where like Unity package view documentation. How about that? Features using Ivid Cap Pro. There we go. Um, all right, so we will do all this stuff. The basic outline for script here. I'll make it bigger so you can read it too. <laughs> so we can read it together. I have a cap pros, can an unity package, blah, blah, blah. Um, yep, I got comes with a post build, post processing script. That's cool. All that is good. Uh, scripting interface. Add an Ivy Cup Pro component to a game object of your choice. All right, so I'm going to do that over here. You can't see me, but um, don't don't worry. Uh, doo -doo -doo. It's probably not that exciting. Well, okay, you know what? I'll, I'll show you still. All right, so here is our scene. I am using uh, here oh, my telemetry. I'll add a component. Ivit Cap Pro. Bloop. Uh, well, doesn't matter where you place it. Add an Ivit Cap Pro uh, video component to the camera you will be using for recording video. All right. I will do that. Ivit Cap. Pro, I don't see camera. I have a couple of video, sorry. Whoops, there we go. Um, blah, blah, blah. Select the iVid Cap Pro object from step one and set the video. <laughs> All right, got it. So it wants to know where its camera is and it's here. Very good. One cam. 
uh, I want audio too. Why not? So I will add iVid Cap Pro audio. Perfect. And then I will tell it that the audio is here. All right, and I believe it's probably too small for you to read it on the camera through the screen. I have to apologize again. Um, oops, sorry, and for brushing the microphone too. Uh, but anyway, I'm setting up the stuff. Uh, video cameras, if you're recording audio, do the same thing. Return to the Cap Pro component, select the target button for the save audio property. Yes, I got that. Okay, that's all cool. Uh, here's, you know, perform the editor setup detailed above. Call the begin recording session when you're ready for the recording to begin. All right, that's, that's good. <laughs> Call the end recording session when you want the recording to stop. Hey. Um, And recording session, save to video album. Oh, cool, you can save to the video album. Nice. Um, there's a bunch more stuff with like session delegates. <laughs> All right, let's do the, the the basic because I want to make sure it works and then I can do most of the like um, code in uh, on Windows and I don't need it to actually run so let's go back to mono develop um, and in our telemetry where is the telemetry there we go telemetry Right, so when we start, uh, blah, 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 initialize, um, hold on. Uh, yep, okay. Yeah, after all this, we'll do, oh, I need to point to the object, which is fine. Actually, I think I have var vr equal get component i vid vid cap pro right isn't that right i vid cap pro isn't that isn't that the name of the class why are you not showing me what i'm looking for i vid cap pro Oh, I think it's, I don't know. There we go. It's doing some weird stuff. Wow, that is a lot of documentation. It's kind of nice, actually. <laughs> I mean, I can't find the code yet, but that is super nice. Um, <laughs> okay, now it's it's overwhelming. Uh, where, where, is, where is it? I vid cap. Is it, is it not? Wait, wait a second. <laughs> I'm looking for the class. There we go. Yeah, it's right there. I'm not sure why it's uh, not happy, but anyway. All right, so I vid oh, it's a it's a small eye. Oh my god, why you do that? Also, why you put spaces there? I hate you. Um. Okay, and then what was the function called? I vid cap pro begin recording session. Uh, name of the video, I guess, uh, uh, dice capture, why not? And then width and height, uh, I don't know, whatever, 512, 
I512 because I don't know. Frames per second 30. Uh, and then it wants audio. IVID cap pro dot capture audio. I really wish you would you would do a completion there. Audio. <laughs> There's a there, it is defined somewhere. And here, but it won't. Um, yes, audio. Oh, scene and microphone. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Nice. Nice. I wanted that. All right, so. Oh. There we go. Capture audio plus mic. Ivid cap pro. Capture. I'm, I'm reading the. Um, the the example code here. Uh, tab over. No, I don't want to tab over. Actually, I want to go here. Capture frame rate locked. Uh, just do unlocked. Uh huh. Bam. Unlocked, and I believe that is all right there. And then when I hit save to file, we will uh, stop recording the video. So I'll do var vr equals same thing. Whoop. I'm all, <laughs> I have to use Windows C and Windows V to copy paste on Mac because they're mapped to. Uh, Command C and Command V, and it is just messing with my mind. Like, it's like completely unnatural to me. <laughs> it's so it's so weird how we get used to this like, dumb stuff. Um, I should remap it or something so that Control is my Command key. That's probably what I'll do. Uh, I vid cap pro. And I want a video dispo disposition. <laughs> uh, I don't know actually. Where is which one I want? I don't want to save to album necessarily. Save to documents. In the applications documents. Eh, no, I'll save it to a camera roll. I feel your pain when it comes to remapping keys in your brain. Yeah, I was thinking about it when uh, when <laughs> when I said that breath <laughs> in back. <laughs> that you're gonna go like, you think that's hard? <laughs> Just <laughs> try using a space age keyboard. All right. Um, telemetry. Okay. Sure. Let's try that. Um, see if uh, our compiler is happy, and it is not. And recording session takes one argument. Oh, there is uh, an out parameter. Whoop! What is what is the frames recorded? Oh, int ignore. <laughs> Out frame uh, ignore. Okay, recompile, recompile, recompile. All right, cool. Let's build. Build settings. Uh, let's even try build and run. Why not? Yeah, let's see. Save. Oh wait, no, it's not gonna work. Haha. <laughs> um, maybe. Actually, you know what? Let's just build. Um, if I do append, I wonder if it'll keep the the signing thing uh, in Xcode. Because lest I know, I think um, you need. I don't know. Like you need to be a proper registered developer so you can like have a 
a real ID to sign your stuff and then you can put it in you can plug that into unity and then oh something's not happy still all right uh, and then and then it will be it will show up in Xcode but otherwise um, I have to edit it to say like use my personal profile all right found that found exception app controller mm does not exist where the hell does that come from system io file copy post build on post process let's go look at that post process build player why is this um why is this not a C sharp file? I don't know. Um, I have a cap pro post build. Let's open this, shall we? Um, what are, oh my God. What the hell is it doing? On post process, blah, blah, blah. I post process build starting, which is cool. Versions less than 4.2. It's not less than 4.2. Unity app controller dot mm. Is it? Is that? Isn't it one? Yeah, it's saying. What the hell? Unity version 27. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> is it thinking that 2017.3 is less than 4.6? Because that's hilarious. Oh wait, wrong. Wrong window. Um, so yeah, it's complaining that um, it it couldn't find the file appcontroller.mm, and here it's clearly saying if it's less than four point two. It's appcontroller.mm. Otherwise, it's Unity appcontroller.mm, which I bet exists but this test here is is garbage string compare negative oh my god <laughs> all, right, all right hold on i have to like zoom this in because this this is brilliant um uh can i make the view bigger on this Zoom in, oh, command plus, look at that, command plus. Nope, because my plus is not a plus. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna make this really big. And hopefully you can see this on screen because it's brilliant, right? So it's comparing version numbers. <laughs> and this is how it's doing it. This line right here. Um, yeah, that's that's something, right? So it's doing a string compare, and it's using the uh, return value from string compare, right? It's using whether it's a positive or negative number to determine if the version number is less or greater, right? And the the reason, like, this could possibly sometimes work because... Um, the uh, um, the alphabetical or the comparison of the strings is um, is it is somewhat based on you know the the characters, right? So if the first characters are the same, uh, then it moves on to the next character, and then if the next character is you know on one string, it's like the its hex value is greater than uh, the other, then it will return plus one, and if it's less, then it will return negative one. Right, and that's sort of how that thing uh, works. And it's the reason it works that way is so that it can uh, be a stable comparison so you can do sorts and stuff like that. Um, but here they rely on that to compare Unity versions, which of course, right, uh, when they switch to 2017, um, if, you're, if you're using Unity 2017, right, it's gonna compare the four with the two. And it's going to go like, oh, no, four is clearly greater than two. So we're at a version less than version 4.2. This is insane. This is like, this is not how you do this. Um, 
So anyways, you should read this as, you know, major version, period, minor version, and then compare those numbers, um, you know, and do like uh, string to int uh, conversions, etc. Not just rely on this because, well, they just got screwed by that. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just, this is great. So anyway, in my case, I'm not even going to care. I'll just, uh, you know, I know that it's greater than 4.2. <laughs> I should I should tweet that because that's great. Um, that is a great great piece of do not write code like this. Um, ta, ta, ta. All right, so let's try again. Now that we've done this, hello, Unity. Oh, Unity's not happy now. Hello, Unity. Okay, that's clear. Oh, no, frozen. Why are you frozen? Uh, uh, uh. I'm not sure what, why this happens. It's like, there we go. Is Unity happy? Oh, now it's happy. Um, all right, clear. Build settings, build. Yeah, it must be something like script compiling. Yeah, because I don't. But the thing is, like, the I don't see the little spinning wheel thingy. I, I don't know. That's weird. But then again, I do know that um, script compiling for uh, Unity happens in stages, uh, and like it compiles the editor scripts first into their own DLL. And then the plugins, and then the rest of your code, because like some stuff might depend on other stuff. I can't remember. There was a justification for that, but um, and so it's entirely possible that it is compiling, but I'm not seeing the spinning wheel because it's just not showing it for that first phase or something. Uh, now it's showing a bunch of errors. Uh, we'll see what happens. So I think the build technically failed here. Let's see, Ivy Capro Unity version 2017, yay. <laughs> Back up the original Unity app controller, MM file created as Unity app, blah, blah, blah. Post build error, cannot find insertion point. What the hell does that mean? It means that they have other errors. Do, 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 do. So couldn't find is match. <laughs> oh God, what is this? I have a capro plus build. Uh, what is the regex file stream? IVCP unity get context. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, again, God damn it! <laughs> Just doing the stupid version check again. Uh, I'm gonna kill them. Um, so if it's less than 4.5, <laughs> uh, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna. <laughs> that just cracks me up. I don't know why. Because I guess because I'm I would never think to do this. Um, and I suppose like somebody felt really s clever about it too when they when they wrote it, which cause, because I know I would be like, hey, look, I can just take advantage of um, of string compare. But of course, they were uh, <laughs> they were defeated by uh, the evil marketing <laughs> team <laughs> that decided to rename their. Uh, Unity versions to uh, a year-based system. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Build. Let us build. Let us build. Pend. At least, you know what? I have to admit that they are giving error messages that are decent and help me find the uh, the problem. So, you know, that's that's at least good and there's, you know, decent documentation too. Um, so I knew exactly what, 
you know, what they were doing. Because I've had seen that 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 string compare without the comment that it's checking for versions less than 4.2. I probably would have taken me a, a while to figure out that that's that's actually what they were doing. Um, as opposed to, let's say, you know, different versions, you know, or whatever. Um, all right, so this compile, let's go to uh, Xcode. And now I can check actually while I'm here whether um, my signing profile is there. Oh, yeah, it's still there. So let's try to um, build. Building iPhone. <laughs> Brett's like, to be fair, this code will be totally fine again in 5,000 years. Yes, or in, in the year 5,000. Yes, that's, that's true. Uh, I just can't imagine what Unity is going to look like then. Oh, no, there's a builder. What is this? Semantic issue. What does this mean? Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, I don't need to. Use of undeclared ident identifier context. Oh, that's a problem. I did for use by iVitCap I Pro. Cool. Is this the file that it messed with or something? What is this? Unity init trampoline? Oh, we're looking at like Unity generated code or something? Uh, I did. Okay, let's go back to uh, Mono Develop here. Ah, oh, fuck. That's not what I wanted. Oh, sorry. I meant. Quap. I bet there's another check somewhere. I need to um, oops, reduce the size a little bit. Oh, wait. Isn't it? There we go. So I can read it. There's probably another string ver oh look at that. <laughs> uh, all right, you know what? I'm gonna go through the whole thing and find all the places where it checks for string version. Uh, you need the app controller, insertion point pattern, context function one. Oh yeah, all the different versions, blah blah blah. Yeah, there we go. It used it used this template. Uh, when it should have been using 4.6 and above, um, which it did, picked because of this stupid code here. So I will just re ah, sorry, I uh, used the wrong the wrong key. Uh, I will you just replace four six two. Contact selection four. I guess I could get rid of the other ones, but uh, I won't for now. All right, one more try. I mean, we're getting closer. It's gonna work. I think. I, you know, I don't know for sure, but I think it's gonna work. And then we'll have uh, screen capture. I mean, uh, camera capture, recorded to file, uh, and separate wave files for the um, accelerometer. And uh, we'll be able to sort of repackage all that nicely and make some UI interface and, you know, all that stuff. Name the files, um, record multiple dice at once, a whole bunch of, you know, uh, what do you call it? low risk <laughs> code or you know boilerplate or whatever you want to call it um all right build save append dun, 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 dun. Mm, i'm excited i think my uh board's gonna arrive today i'm hopeful the post well i say that i'm not gonna be able to work on it then uh probably until 
tomorrow or the next day. But I am excited to uh, put together the next revision of the board because it is, as far as I know, um, the exact version that I will then send to be made into flexible boards. Um, I have a few more tests to run uh, and to like determine a few component values for like um, making the, what is it, the uh, wireless charging uh, more efficient. Uh, and I have to make sure that, you know, everything works, but I am fairly confident uh, that it will, at which point I'll be able to um, get flexible boards made, get them put into then uh, the cases that I printed, Ah, build failed again. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Oh, because it was already there. <laughs> uh, I bet I know, right? Because um, in the, um, again, I do not want this. I see I have two mono develops and I don't know why. But um, it didn't actually end up uh, writing the file because it or writing that that chunk of code because it already exists. So I'll just copy it manually. I think no, actually, you know what? I want to um, hold on. I saw a bit of code that said like if we have this thing in there, app controller, yeah, insertion point pattern. And so it goes, it makes a copy, and then yes, Unity blah 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 get context already present. So I'll just go and um, edit the file manually now. I'll just copy this. Uh, copy, and I'll find that stupid file. Uh, where is that stupid file? Finder. Central assets. Um, wait, where does it find it? Post process build uh, app controller name unity app controller dot mm path to build project plus uh, Jesus what a name um, let, let's check in Xcode is this a file right you know what I'll edit it I'll edit it <laughs> I'll edit it oh God I can't speak um, I will edit it here and um, so this hasn't changed so that's fine that's fine so this is really all I want but I'm uh, what I don't know is if this file is just going to get uh, overwritten in a as soon as I run build, if I need to actually put it somewhere else. Uh, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, save. And build. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Big money, big money, big money. I wonder what those uh, app, those those warnings are here. If we're in real pre-commit handler, we can't actually add any new fences. No idea what that means. Uh, so whatever, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea what this means. Hey, build succeeded. It's copying to the phone. It's going to tell me I need to unlock it. There we go. Unlocked. Let's see. 
Come on, starting. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Uh, something happened. <laughs> I got a bug. Yeah, it showed one frame, and then I got to have some messages here on the thing. So let's see. What it, does it say? Assertion failed. Um, could not execute support code to read Objective C class data in. Okay, whatever. This is not what I'm looking for. Uh, surface API API metal. Oh. Wait, what? Does it do I need it to be metal? Uh, surface API not equal API metal. Oh, I'm confused now. Hold on. Uh, blah blah blah. Um, there was a thing in the. Where was it? If I'm uh, over here, uh, uh, looking at the the docs and stuff on one of the pages, it said something about. Yeah, see, UPI get content. Oh, that's what it created. Okay. So it's doing this um, manually, this thing here. Uh, so that's not that. Um, I'm curious if. I don't know. I don't know what I need. Uh, let me let me switch back over here. Switch back over here. Which is uh, so yeah. So it found the camera, back camera, from camera. I mean, we saw it for one frame. Could not find any die. Oh, oh, that might be my no. Yeah, it's something else. Um, did not find any die. Oh, because that die is connected to this guy here. Let's uh, let's undo this at least. Remove. Oop. Um, let's try that again. And while it's running, uh, I will check what I am building for. Oh, it says metal. Yeah. But why would it not like metal? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, where is the? Can't. I can never remember where the APIs are. Uh, other settings. Oh, auto graphic API. Yeah, it's metal or OpenGL. Yes, which is fine. Yeah, got the same. Same warning. Um, function display connection surface GLES display manager dot mm line forty four. Uh, okay. Is this a thing that comes from them or is this a thing from Unity? Is there a display manager mm in here somewhere? iVidCap Pro, no, everything's called iVidCap Pro something, so that's not that. Um. All right, well, let me try uh, GLES, I guess. Uh, where was it? Project settings, player. Let's uh, flip those two. Build and run. Build. Save. Append. Mm -mm -mm. And then we can see. Um, maybe it'll work better with a GLES surface. Who knows?
Okay. Xcode. I mean, you all know what the next step is if this happens, or if this doesn't fix it. It's the Google machine looking for the error. <laughs> and then um, trying to understand what's going on. Blah, blah, blah. It's launching. Unity. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, interesting. It worked for a sec. And now we have um, a bug. Video, capture video start. Uh, hold on. Uh, what are these messages for? Geo open yes warning yada 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 creation of internal variation blah 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 UI API called on a background thread who did that I'll do that ED current orientation plus sixty I have no idea what that is um, Unity core motion start ugh. Um, Okay, whatever. So this stuff is telling us we're doing a bad job. Uh, system group container. And we got a ca back camera, a front camera, and the garbage we froze. Uh, I don't know why. Let's try again. Hello. Yeah, so it's working and then bump, nothing. Oh, oh, this app crashed because it attempted to write. Oh, look at that. And it's microphone usage description. <laughs> How about this one? <laughs> oh man! All right. Well, at least I like that. That's that's good. I can I can do that. Um, I'll put it with the other like uh, stuff. I know it should probably go in here, but I don't see any um, any similar. Um, Thing in this build in this editor, so I'll just put it here in the uh, Bluetooth one. Oops. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Microphone. Okay. Uh, well, this this may be a good sign, actually, <laughs> because it might work. It could work <sighs> that we get uh, even the microphone recording. So it's going to pop up uh, another message saying, "Hey, it needs access to this thing." At least that's what I'm hoping is going to happen. Get back to Xcode. 
and build again. Actually, do I even have room for a uh, capture card on this computer? So my tower is small. I think I do. I need a USB one, and I'm I'm running really low on USB bandwidth. Um, All right, so, oh, same crap. Oh, oh, no, yes, okay. It works. <laughs> so, you know, uh, it's overblown and stuff, but, yeah, it's, it's uh, I have capturing, you know, the, the video. Of course, it's all wrong. That's all fine. Uh, oh, can't touch the file. Damn it. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, I need to fix my UI. <laughs> That's funny. Yes, so I have a button in here uh, <laughs> to stop and like record everything or you know save everything to file. And I forgot that it was in front of everything, that the uh, the raw image was in front of everything. So there we go. Put it back there. Save this. Uh, let's try build and run. Why not? All right. There we go. Build and run. Let's see. I think we're getting close, guys. Um, I know this was uh, just as thrilling for you as it is for me, <laughs> but I'm pretty excited about it. I think it'll be... Uh, very very useful once you know once i uh polish it up a bit and it's recording all the stuff that i need um you know i can start it and stop it or whatever and uh, i may even look into how to get my own files into the the um photo album because right now my own files like the wave files when i run it on uh, ios they're like saved in some really cryptic directory that is then a really a pain to uh, to fetch. So I might try to figure out how they move their files to the to the user uh, whatever whatever it's called the photo album. Uh, hopefully, I can put my WAV files there. I don't know. But yeah, I think. Um, if this works, assuming this works and I get a video out of it, um, the next step is to check that um, the video recording and my WAV files are in sync, uh, which I think I probably want to do anyway. Uh, something like get the die to send a special message uh, and blink at the same time. So I can see it on camera and then I can, you know, see, I don't know, make, make it a spike or uh, some pattern in the wave, uh, the wave file. Uh, so I can make sure that stuff is in sync. And then if it is, then just do some cleanup, um, you know, adding more buttons and naming files properly and all that stuff. And then I'll have my tool to record. Um, Hello. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you can see it, and it's recording, right? Like, yay, the, the X, Y, Z. Oh, it's overblown. Uh, here. You can see as I'm, I'm moving the, the die around, it's, you know, we're just registering the, the stuff. Whee! So, all right, so I'm going to hit the button. And it's it should disconnect from the die and record everything. Save to disk. I am seeing a lot of uh, uh, debug channel stuff, but I think maybe... Oh, <laughs> and I get another one. This app crashed because it attempted to access privacy-sensitive data without a user's description. Because I'm trying to write to the photo library. <laughs> so, uh, this is hilarious. Um, this is great. NS photo library add usage description key. So that's what I need now. But I do want to stop. 
Stop. Why won't you stop? Stop the application. All right. This is weird. Okay, so that's fine. I I want to be able to why can't I select text over here? Or stop the app. Weird. I'll kill it. See if it if it likes that. No, it does not like that. Alright, well that's fine. Oh, I can't switch to... Yes, I can. This is really strange. It's like it's not responding, but not really. Like, see? Like, I have a mouse. Uh, I even have a tab. Don't know why it put a tab when I did... Oh, is it supposed to be smart? Oh, yes, it's smart. Um, but I couldn't... I can't select with my mouse. Isn't that weird? Oh, now I can. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Um, so if I go back here, I may be able to select that thing. Where was it? Oh, wait, did I lose that stupid thing? Do you ever output? No. Target output? Crap. I lost um, that NS string or something. Uh what was it called? Uh, NS uh, photo album. I don't know. No. <laughs> Apple. Whoops. Apple uh, P list. There we go. I think that's the that's the one, right? And this photo library add usage description. There we go. Uh, if there's any specific reason we are watching and recording the screen instead of the screen capture. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm really sorry about that. I I right now have to do my development on uh, a Mac to um, deploy to the the phone because uh, that's the only way you can do it. However. Um, the Mac is not my primary dev machine. I'm actually working on a PC uh, right here, which you can see me in all these different whatever screens. Um, and um, and all my capture software, like OBS and stuff, is running on the PC. But the but this Mac is on a separate machine completely. And so while I um, uh, I was hoping this wouldn't take too long, but while I sort of like uh, um, figure out if the this specific app or the specific library is working on the phone I sort of have to work in the on the Mac but uh, I, I you know this should be a temporary thing uh, and hopefully I'll be able to get back to my main dev environment so yeah I uh, eventually I'll probably figure something like you know like a capture card or something um, because yeah, this is not super. Uh, <laughs> this is not very user friendly for you guys to to uh, watch. Um, all right, uses. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Drops malware into your documents. There we go. That's great. I'm sure if I submitted this app for. Uh, for review. Oops, sorry, this is what you want to see, I believe. Uh, oops, right here. Um, yeah, I'm sure if I submitted this app for review, they would uh, be very happy with it. Oops. 
Okay, let's rebuild one last time. Build and run. But yes, so, uh, but we're almost there. I'm trying to prove that all the parts work and then I'll, I'll be able to switch back over to Windows. Um, but yeah, the parts being um, recording. All right, so this little guy here, this die. Oh God, it's not, the camera doesn't like it. Um, is sending uh, telemetry data over its Bluetooth to my phone. Uh, and I wanna pair that with a recording of the camera from the phone um, uh, so that I can uh, match the, uh, the, the data with what's actually going on with the die like visually to see uh, what's happening with it. And so that means I had to like access the camera, um, be able to display it and then be able to save a recording of the camera and now put that recording in the documents folder or the uh, photo album. And of course, because it's iOS, it's all, you know, kind of complicated, not really complicated, but it's a little complicated. Um, all right, so did this run or am I like, I'm not sure what I'm, what's happening here. Okay. So if you can see, oh, it's going to be overblown, but I'm capturing stuff. It's also drawing graphs from the die. Oh, it's overblown. Yeah. See, as I'm shaking the die, you can see the graphs update. So I'm also recording that, those data, those values to file. VLC on Mac and set as network capture. Oh, that is great, Dwight. Yeah, so I can still have decent frame rate on the screen, right? Because I have a dedicated video card, but also capture VLC over network. Is that what you're saying? Because I, I don't want to just do a remote login. Um, here, no, hit save, right? Because I, I don't want to, yes, add to, like, to your photos. <laughs> and it says drop smile. Oh, man, you can't see the text. It's overblown. But it says, yes, drop smileware into your documents. Okay, let's do that. All right, so let's see now. Um, uh, let's, let's kill this. Uh, how do I kill this? I don't know. I'm not sure because the debugger is not showing me that it's actually running for some weird reason. Whatever. All right, but now we can go here. I'll move the, the camera over there. Cool. So, yeah. Um, I'll check that out actually. That might be uh, definitely because I'm, I'm probably going to end up having to do this more. And if I can capture it correctly, that would be great. Yeah, I'll check it out. Um, I think I'm, I'm done for today with this. So um, hopefully you won't have to deal with this anymore. But uh, let's go look at our videos. Um, photos. <gasps> no, you're going to see. Oh, there. Look at that. It's right there today. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> it's all blue. <laughs> the it's recording the microphone just fine. Oops, excuse me. There, I'm I'm uh, running with. <laughs> so it's all blue, but it is the Unity background blue. So that tells me something. Uh, <laughs> damn it, so close. Um. All right, so what this is telling me is that, let me think for a sec, that it's not recording any of the UI. Of course it's not recording any of the UI. I'm an idiot. Uh, because this main camera isn't actually showing the UI. Of course it's not. Oh, well, that's great. Then, all I, then what I can do instead 
ah, this will be actually this, I will turn this to my advantage. Right, so what's going on is, um, I'll show you on the PC here. Whoop, uh, here. So what is going on? Where, where are my windows go? There we go. Nope, not this one. Unity. Right, so I have this, um, the scene set up in Unity with, you know, my canvas um, that has a raw image with a texture and I programmatically make that texture. Oh, yes, food. Hold on. I have to make sure and reserve food. That is important. Uh, yes. What do you say? Are quesadillas okay? I think they're going to be fine. Um, so, uh, where was I? Oh, right, right. So I have this this UI layer, uh, and in the UI, I have a texture that displays the the picture from the camera, uh, and it has the buttons for the telemetry right here, and um, you know, it's going to draw the graphs and all that stuff, which is great. Um, uh, but that inside that in Unity, that is rendered like after the main camera, which is like the 3D or 2D camera, whatever, whichever one you want. Uh, it, it, you know, it's an after it happens after that. And you specific, I specifically pointed the camera recorder thing like the eye cam, whatever it is called. Uh, oh, it's not on this version. It's on the Mac, the iVid cap pro thing. I pointed it at the main camera. Right. And so it's recording what the cam main camera is seeing, which is pure blue. So, uh, just for a little bit longer, let me point you back at <laughs> the screen, the Mac screen, uh, while I fix this. Doo -doo 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 -doo. There we go. And um, because what I will do instead is uh, create a like a 3D object. Uh, actually, I could use a 2D object. No, I'll do a 3D object, uh, and, but it'll just be a quad, and I'll put it in front of the camera. In fact, I'll put it right in front of the camera. Uh, but now I need to know where that is. So, uh, focus. Main camera. All right, so now the problem is I have to, like, size it and all that garbage. Uh, I don't know. Quad. Zero, zero, zero. Um, let's turn off our canvas because we can't see what's going on. Main camera is over here. Oh, actually, I should have used a 2D object. I'll just do that. Delete. 2G object, a sprite. Oh, no, I can't do that because I don't want to use a sprite sprite. Can I just use a... No. All right, so I'll, I'll undo this. There we go. All right, so our main camera... Well, I'll just size it by hand because I don't care for now. I'll make my thing really big. There we go, and uh, I will put this on here instead. Okay, took it off of here, delete. Then on my quad, uh, I'll call this, um, I don't know, cam. Mirror capture. I don't know. Camera. Camera capture. And I will change the script. Oh, right. Double click. It doesn't actually open the thing. I'm not sure why. I mean, it opens it, but it doesn't actually alt tab to it. Uh, and so instead of 
raw image component, I want a, uh, what am I looking for? A renderer of some kind, right? Uh, mesh, actually, you know what? I don't need this mesh collider. Um, I need this mesh render material. I need a new material, don't I? Oh, no, I can do this uh, manually, I think. So mesh renderer, main texture, no? Oh, material, yeah, I'll just do this. Material, main texture, equal uh, text, there we go. So instead of uh, manually setting the texture of my image in my UI. I am setting the texture of a quad in space. Space. Um, <laughs> All right. Um, actually, you know what? I want. Uh, I don't want a default material for this. Then now I need to create a material. Just realized. Folder. I'll call this materials because my aim in life is to be original. <laughs> and I'll call this uh, unlit cam. And I want it to be unlit texture. There we go. And then by default, give it. I'll give it this stupid texture. But I'll programmatically change it and then if I go here um, I can can I extend this there we go damn there we go save and build and run this is gonna work guys this is gonna work um, Meanwhile, you know what? While this is building, I'm going to go check out VLC. Uh, VLC, my OS. I just saw a bit of news about VLC recently that they were doing even more stuff. Is that what you were talking about, Dwight? Um, like there's, I can't remember what it was. I heard about it on some podcast. Like in the new, actually a VLC 3.0. That sounds like a new version. Um, there was like some really cool new stuff with it. Um, I do not know. All right, so what are we doing here? Uh, we're building... Project VLC features. Let's look at those. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I like, you know, that's a feature. No spyware, no ads, no user tracking. <laughs> Plays all formats. Yeah, God, it does everything. Um, all right, where is it? Is it here? Yes. Install. Hello. <laughs> so the project is no it's a real die that's the thing right so i don't know can you see this um so there are some links in the the page you know on the twitch page and um that's so funny it's trying to get a text while running the app and it's having a hard time but yeah no this thing i designed like so there's um a few streams of me working on the the circuit boards for this so this is a little uh, 3d printed you know case and inside there's it doesn't you know it looks so great on camera unfortunately um, but yeah inside there's a tiny microcontroller um, that has bluetooth low energy there's an accelerometer and a bunch of leds right and as you can see right now it like lights up you know whichever face is on top um, and uh, right, and so I, I, I designed and, and implemented all that stuff uh, already. And so now I am just at the part where um, 
I want to get more uh, data from the accelerometer reading because I want to be smarter about how the dice determines um, what state it's in, right? So determining which phase is currently up, it's easy, right? Like you look at the accelerometer readings and, you know, it's going to tell you which way gravity is pointing, right? And this is what I'm using right now to, you know, light up the face that is up. I also end up sending, um, who's dying called the books? Yeah. Um, and so, uh, crap, I lost my train of thought. Right, so but that's right. Determining which phase is currently up is easy. The problem is when you start, you know, handling the die, right? Like when you're like you're shaking it and then you roll it, or you like you pick it up and then you put it back down. I want to make sure to try and have as few false uh, false positives as possible. And so that's why I'm going through all this trouble to try and record data from the dice. Uh, while they're being you know rolled and that's why i have this whole idea of like doing a video and recording um uh, the uh, telemetry data in wave files so that i can open the entire thing as a stack in um you know like a premiere or some other video editing and actually tag you know oh, okay this is where the die was rolled where it was thrown landed etc um but ultimately uh, the dice will be either just, you know, light up dice that you can just use for, you know, just because they look cooler, um, they light up when you roll them, or what is going on over here? Something? Oh, now this computer is acting up again. Let me go over here. Why are you? Let's run that again. I don't know what's going on over here. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't build or something. I don't know. Um, so. <laughs> More readings to roll all sevens in Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> no. Maybe. What's going on? Why are you not <laughs> denied the launch request? Awesome. Let's uh, let's try that again. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. All right. Building, installing, running. Mm, come on. Engine start door. They probably have something, you know, like super smart in Vegas, too. Actually, they probably have cameras, <laughs> a camera based system to like track down all the rolls. Um, what? There, I'll launch it manually. I don't know why it's, it's acting up. Start, start, start. This is one little change. It shouldn't have done anything. I just moved the texture. Ugh. All right. Hold on. You know what? I'm going to unplug it. Kill it with fire. And. Oh, hold on. Rip, 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 rip. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. I will plug it back in. Boom. All right, so hold on. Let me make sure. Build settings. Build. Save. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, why am I untitled? Oh, no, it's because it's building. Um, I don't know what's going on. Um, 
Tremors can't catch muscle memory. Wait, what? <laughs> Are you saying uh, that you could use the dice to train yourself to roll sevens all the time? Is that, is that what you're <laughs> Because that's impressive. That would be impressive. Um, all right. Run. Building. Anyway, this will be an interesting thing. Oh, okay. Got it. All right. Um, come on. Work this time. Ah, starting. Although the debugger on here is not starting. So, oh, there it is. Okay. We have blue screen and... D d d d d did nothing. Oh, that's disappointing. <laughs> that sucks. Boo hoo. What did I do? Why did I mess up? I messed up. I messed up. All right. Let's try this again. Main camera. Main camera. They are default. We have this. Here's our game. Oh, wait. Oh, well, I messed up something. Oh, God, okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Well, I got one part anyway, which is I probably want to move. Nope, not not there. Um, I probably want to move it back in the Z so that, yeah, there we go. Now the ca game camera can see it. And then I want my canvas back on because I had turned it off. Because I am an idiot. Don't answer that. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. All right. So while this is going on, we can stop Xcode. And then wait. Uh, ah, there's your link for Mac screen capture to network view on Windows PC. Oh, man. You rock. That's awesome. Here, let me click on it. Oh, no. Malware. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> Here, let's uh, check it out, actually, while this builds. VLC video streaming guide for Mac and Windows. Find Max local address to stream video later. Open streaming resort on VLC. Oh, yes. Streaming transcode. Oh, do you need this transcode page? Oh, we'll see. We just set it up. Encapsulate format. Okay, all that stuff's super cool. And then VLC player on Windows. Ah, and then the Mac local address. Oh, you know what? But hold on. If I look at. All right, so. If you excuse the uh, OBS inception here, um, if I try to add an input, oh, there's just, oh, VLC video source. Maybe, let's see, create new playlist. Oh, I might need to have VLC running. And actually, maybe that's exactly what it's telling me to do here. Um, I can play the video file in my Windows computer. Yeah, it's probably not our network. Yeah, this is probably this will probably work. That will be nice. Yeah, thanks a lot for the tip. That's gonna be super awesome. <laughs> so if you say five bucks on your software, yeah, <laughs> you're damn right. Uh, <laughs> All right. Yeah, no, this is going to be great. Thank, I guess, again, thank you. This, this is fantastic. Um, where, where did I put OBS after all this? Then, oh, it's here. Let's put it back on this monitor. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Then says, yeah. It's awesome. 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 Could not launch dice. Oh, of course. Because I am running. I am running. All right. Let's switch back over if we can. To this. Uh, we can see this running. Hey, look at that. We are recording again. See a bunch of stuff. Um, ah, sorry for the glare again, and I hit save. Oh, interesting. It played back the thing for just a sec. <laughs> All right, but now let's go check it out. Here, I'll move the camera back down. Um, so if I exit here and I go to my photos, oh, look at that. It's right there. Yes. I have sound and everything. Of course, it's garbage. All right. So that's great. That's recording. And now, now for the super fun part which is uh, until I figure out how to put my files on um, in the documents folder or whatever, um, to go fetch the WAV files that I generated uh, for the accelerometer readings, I have to go, I believe, devices and simulators, click on this guy here, which is my installed app, Right click on this, uh, no, click on this, there we go. Download the container uh, and figure out where I want to save that. I guess I'll save that there. And then I can go find that in the finder. I guess it's this guy. 2.36 p.m., no, that's not it. That's not it either. Oh, maybe this thing is not, oh, the time is wrong on here. Um, and then I can do show package content, uh, documents, oh, there we go, yes, X, Y, Z, and then I will go, um, put them on a network drive somewhere so I can open them on my PC, uh, oh, look at that, VLC Media Player is a device, oh, wait, that's my install, um, where was server, uh, scratch space is where I wanted, and I'll just uh, paste here. Oh, that's right. I always want to do right click paste. I guess it doesn't work. I don't know how you do that. Well, I guess command L and replace because I already had some files. Yep. All right. So then we can switch back over to the PC. Go uh, open uh, do, 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 scratch space X Y Z. Now open those in Audacity. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me grab the video too. Why didn't I do that? Uh, documents? No. Um, uh, how do I go fetch? I <laughs> see now I don't know how to go get data from my uh, from my phone. Isn't that sad? Um, I don't want to install iTunes. Or I mean, I don't have to use it. Um, where is okay? Uh, blah blah blah. Window devices. Uh, no, no, yeah, I can't see, I can see the logs on this thing, but not, oh, this is all right, all right, I'm going to just plug it to the PC and just, <laughs> just do it this way, because this is, like, super annoying, all right, da, 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 we're, we're almost there, uh, no, Da, 
ta 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 Oh, yeah, no, I don't want to. No. No, I don't want to do that. I just want to open the file. Sean's iPhone. Uh, there. And uh, can we sort this somehow? Of course, it's not sorted. Anyway, that makes sense. Sort by created. There we go. All right, so uh, let's create a folder somewhere. Oh, I'm excited. I want to see this. Um, where will we put it? In our documents. Oh, wait, no, that's not it. That's not documents. Documents. Dice three. New folder. Do, 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 do. First ever video and um, telemetry. And uh, oh, to copy that. Oop. Move over here. And then where was my other thing? I forgot. Oh, did I? <sighs> I'm an idiot. I am Z idiot. Um, Sean's iPhone. Oop. Copy. Okay. And now we'll open Premiere. Uh, I think Premiere will show me what I want. Open. Oh, it's open. New project. Uh, location. Let's put it with the rest of the stuff. There we go. Okay. I don't need it on the entire screen, sir. Just, just this side, okay? And import some stuff. <gasps> Will it work? I hope it works. Importing files, putting that one in here, and then let's put X. Oh, we got a slight issue already. <laughs> the files are not the right length. So there we go. So we're going to have to sort that out first. Um, uh oh, I missed something. Oh, I just need to add. How do I add? Uh, also, I just got a text. I probably want to. Um, talk all sources, move those, uh, crap, how do I add a stupid source? Add track, there we go. No, I don't want a video track, I want audio track. Zero, one. Um, and then I want to drag Z. There we go. And now maybe I can make this bigger. Drag this over here. So, right. Now the next question is... It's 512 by 512. It's tiny <laughs> over here. Um, but yeah, the question is... Is one recording more than the other, or you know, that, all that kind of that kind of stuff. So, but hey, that's pretty good. So I'm I'm excited about that. Um, just need to do a little bit more uh, debugging, and then a lot more cleanup. Well, maybe not all that much really, um, but enough to make it functional, and then I'll be able to record a bunch of data, 
And uh, yeah, so this is a good day. Good couple hours of streaming. So yeah, I think I'm probably gonna stop here since I'm we're in a good place. Um, yeah, we have everything on the uh, on the to-do list, <laughs> so that's pretty good, even if it's not completely correct. Um, we oui. awesome. All right. Well, thank you everyone for stopping by, and uh, hopefully, I don't know exactly when the next stream will be. Um, probably this weekend. Um, otherwise, sometime next week. And. Uh, yeah, it'll be exciting. I think the next stream will probably be more electronics oriented, though, because I'll be uh, very likely assembling uh, the next version of the board uh, and hopefully not struggling with the RGB LEDs nearly as much. Uh, and if that's the case, fingers crossed that I don't uh, struggle too much, then we'll be playing with that and making cool RGB animations and stuff like that for the dice. Um, so, yeah. Thanks again. I will uh, see you next time. <laughs> Bye.